Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon Part 7 if I'm not mistaken I might be mistaken but you know Oh well Not a big difference So As I promised in the last part To my, the 10 people that are going to watch this I'm going to go over guests Uh I actually have to close them Blind window, so you won't really be able to see my cursor, but oh well. So, now we're in the guest interface sort of thing. And, so I'm just going to open, oh actually yeah, you can see my cursor, never mind. So, you can see these four buttons on the side here. Uh, this button means you can move the guest you know, move this person to a new location. I don't really like doing that, because, you know, it can piss them off, and if you're an idiot, you will probably wind up killing them if you're on, like, uh, you know, uh, let me think. Diamond Heights is pretty notorious for if you move a guest and you drop them in the water. Yeah, you can drown your guests. You can be a total dick like that. And, well, he just got off roller coaster tycoon, roller coaster too, uh, and now he looks pretty happy. That's pretty good. And you can also name the guest. Let's name this guy. Uh, I don't know. I'll name him after myself. I'll name him Eli. Yeah, my name's Eli. Oh well. So yeah, you can name your guests. You can go to the location of the guest. So he's going on roller coaster one now. You wouldn't catch me dead riding a roller coaster like that. Well, actually, it doesn't really have any mini loops, but oh well. Anyways, and um, the big eye thing, eye information eye thing. You click on it, and any. Any action that the guest will take will show up in the announcements window. You now we'll follow myself around. Now let's go to the next tab. It's basically his information. You know, his preferred ride is, uh, you know, an intensity with more than four. Uh, th this guy is really not like me at all. That's he, he lies on the road just rolling this trip up right down there. And basically the four bars, happiness, um, how happy he is. Energy, how much energy he has. Like, if guests get low on energy, they'll probably want to sit down on benches, so that's why benches are really important. Hunger, you know, if they get hungry, thirst, if they get thirsty. Nausea, how sick they are, you know, they lose nausea by sitting down or, like, going on really gentle rides. Um, bathroom, like, how bad they have to go to the bathroom, you know. Nacho tolerance, high nacho tolerance. You know, they can take a lot of spins and the sort. I am not like that at all. <laughs> uh, ride spin on, you know, two. Items eaten, zero. Items drunk, zero. I, I thought it items drank, but oh well. Souvenirs bought, one. You can buy souvenirs from souvenir stalls or information or kiosks. Favorite ride in the park, you know, time in park really, you know. Vanilla. How much money he has, how much he spent, how much he spent on, you know, certain things. What he's thinking right now, swing sh er, er, he's really liking this park. It's nice to know that somebody likes this. And he's carrying a map of Forest Frontiers. That's one of the things that you can buy from the information kiosk. And that's really all you need to know about the guest uh, thing, you know, you wanna... Cause it doesn't happen... Okay, uh, let me explain something that happens in really big parks. I have the strangest feeling someone is watching me. No, nobody's watching you. Nobody's watching you. No one at all. 
No one. Hear me? Good. Okay, so as I was saying again, um, uh, one of the things that happens in bigger parks, I'm just gonna close this down because, you know, as much as I like myself, I don't like myself that much. Oh, that much, you know. Um, so as I was saying before, as being interrupting myself countlessly, uh, if you have a big park and y it's very unorganized, like it's got paths going in different directions that aren't like, you know, interconnected in that, you'll get guests that get lost in a park and they get into really, really bad moods really, really quickly. And it's just really good to keep an organized park. Diamond Heights is the first park that it's going to just be a total kick in the pants for you if you do not know how to organize. And it is really hard to organize because it's a pre-made park, so that's going to be a fun event for us, but it's not too hard of a campaign. Uh, how much time do I have left? I've got, like, two minutes left or three minutes left. Uh, let me think of something cool we can do. Let's make a little, you know, garden here. Let's make a garden. Because we're, you know, like that. Oh, like that. Funky looking footpath. Be like, frick yes. No. See? You know, guests love lots of space. They will absolutely love lots of space. But guests don't love the lack of benches. I'm just gonna put some ben er, benches, not freaking lampposts. We don't leave lampposts. There's no nighttime in this game. Freaked out. And da -da 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 -da. this is basically what you want to do in every time that you build uh, an area like this. See? It's all nice and pretty. Uh, not really. Let's, let, let's put some scenery in. Let's put some scenery in. Let's put some nice, uh, do we have anything awesome? Like, really awesome? No, let's let, let, let's put some like uh, deciduous trees in here. In case you didn't know, deciduous trees uh, are the big fluffy type trees, you know, with the funny leaves, and you know they're really bushy. And uh, if you have, uh, if you, Jesus. That's, like, right in my way. I'm not using that one. Screw that. I'll use this one. The... That's still in my way. I forget what the name of that is. Oh, I don't really care. I know. I live by a couple houses that have those trees. It's pretty funky. Now, fences. I went over this. Another part, I think. Yeah, you can either build them on one side or another side of a path, of, an, of a square. But I like to keep this, you know, all nice and enclosed so that it doesn't screw around with your benches. Because it can screw around with your benches really badly. And you garbage bins too, but nobody cares about garbage bins. They're freaking garbage bins. They don't serve a purpose in this world. We walk all over them. Well, we don't walk all over them. We put our stuff in them. They're like Tupperware containers of the world. Yeah, so, you know, we made a nice little area for guests to sit down and enjoy. You better like it. If they don't, I'm going to be moderately disgruntled. And I am out of time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this parking. Oh, man. Uh, okay. I just won the campaign entirely by accident. 
Um, we're going to continue the tutorial in this campaign though. So, you know, I hope you enjoyed this part. I hope you enjoyed the first taste of victory and I hope you enjoy the last little part of the tutorial before we move on to the real deal. Okay? I hope you enjoyed this part. Goodbye.